Uh, this is a beautiful film. Um, the studio asked me my initial reaction. I looked at him and said, just beautiful. Uh, I actually just stopped crying about an hour ago, and I saw it a day ago. <laughs> I needed ice cream after I saw it. <laughs> I said, I need ice cream. But I read that when you read the script, you were in tears as well. Yeah. Yes. Both of you. Yeah. Tell Everybody, even Antonio Banderas. We're going to get to him in a minute. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't think he cries. <laughs> He's a tough guy. Um, but tell me what this story means to you both uh, and, and what it's like, what it feels like to be a part of such a beautiful film. Um, for me, it was beautiful to play a part that it was just like a little part of something bigger than a part. You know what I mean? Like big ensemble and just working all together to create this story. It felt like teamwork in a very special way that I really like about the movie. Like we were all very aware of it's not just about your story. And this is kind of nice when you're shooting. Yeah, a story within a story, which I think is extremely creative. Not only a beautiful film, but just a creative story. Of course, when it all comes together, you're like, ah, look what they did to me. But is, is your thoughts as, as well about the story and what you like the most about it? Yeah, it's when you, when you read it, you see like a puzzle. And, and, but even like that, you, you, you get emotional. When, when I was reading it, I thought, fuck, I'm crying. But I'm not suffering. I'm crying because I, I, something happens here that makes me cry, that open, opens my heart. And I think it's uh, because it's about loving each other and watch and seeing each other and, and I don't know, it's Fogelman. <laughs> it, that's the best way to, exactly. Uh, you, it was an eye opener for me as well. It really makes you reflect on your own lives and how you go about day to day. Okay, now we can talk about Antonio Banderas. Uh, what is it like to work with a guy? I've interviewed him a couple. What happened with Antonio Banderas? <laughs> you love Antonio Banderas. I do. Yeah. I've talked to him. We, we love we Antonio love Banderas. Okay, tell me about working with him. <laughs> what is that experience like? I think it's an honor. He's one of the yeah. best Spanish actors and talented, creative creature. I don't yeah. know how to put it better, but it was just an honor to work with him and to, he, to, he, to see him performing. And he's very humble, very hardworking. He's very like, you know. He's like a superhero. He's like the Zorro. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah. But you had some pretty intense scenes with him. Yeah. Like, I really thought he was going to punch you. I, I almost punched you when I walked in the door. <laughs> now you have to see the movie to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, again, the, the, your chemistry is amazing. But when you when you act with a guy like that, does he set you up for the scene? or? No, I, I think you, you only need to, to listen to him and to, to watch him and to think, I am the luckiest guy in the world. I'm working with Antonio Banderas. Really, uh, you're playing a role, of course, but but don't don't put that that apart. You are with Antonio Banderas, and also because he's such a good partner, good he's companion. Generous. He's generous. He's delicious. What is this experience uh, now that it's over out and people are going? The world is going to see it. I loved it, but what is it? What did this working on this film mean to you personally? I don't know, maybe knowing, knowing Fogelman and his world and his way of watching life and translating life into cinema, into art, is a gift for me. I knew I was going to cry going into it, and boy, did I ever. <laughs> I admit it as a man, but then I had ice cream. That's the truth. Uh, very nice to meet you. You were not the only one.